So you've chosen the hybrid material. I think that's a great choice. I think it's going to look awesome on the knife. When we do lay the knife out here, I think it would look really cool if we put the blue on the bottom rather than the blue on the top. That way the wood's on the top. It gives you that kind of wood grain feel and the blue can be the water underneath. I'm going to go over to the drill press. All I'm going to do is things you've seen in many previous videos. I'm going to drill three holes, locate those holes with my pins as I drill them, and then I'm going to mark out around this, cut it out on the bandsaw. You'll notice that I do all this finish work on a towel so that I don't introduce scratches into my blade. So all I'm going to do is just mark around this so that I know what material I'm cutting off on the bandsaw. It's that simple. Kaboom. Cool. Now I'll jump over and trim these out on the saw real quick. Guys, ready to rock and roll. All the parts are cleaned with acetone. Make up some epoxy. Two equal parts. Make sure you get everything nice and well mixed together. All right, here we go. It's like which scale goes on. I didn't make sure that I had the right scale. Look at that. Pretty sweet. It's all ready to go. I'm going to trim up the pins and get to shaping. That's a lot of sheaths. Holy moly. That's, uh, that's a lot of sheaths. Let's get to cutting. I'm just gonna cut all of these out. Got my trusty razor knife here. Just separate them up into smaller pieces first. Oh, fine. We need to attach all of the belt loops first. Perfect. We've got all of these belt loops sewn on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the welts and I'm going to glue those in to the back panel all the way around. So this is going to get glue here and I'm going to glue this welt in. Now that we've got all of the welts glued on, we're going to go ahead and glue this side of the welt, glue the back face of the front and glue the fronts on. Just make sure that the belt loop is sewn on first before you glue the front panel on because you won't have access to this inside anymore. Now we've got all of the front panels glued on. This is where we're at. 
I took, after I glued on the front panels, I cleaned up the edges, made sure everything was nice and crisp between all three layers. And now that the edge is nice and crisp, I can take and run my stitching groove all the way around. You want to crispen up all your edges and get everything right because your stitch line will run on the finished outside edge. So if this is wonky at all, then your stitch line will be wonky. So get this nice and straight and true, and then when you run your stitch line, it'll give you a perfect place for your stitches, and it'll be nice and straight and true. Do that on all seven of them. Now it's time to space out the stitches. Here's a good tip on this one. I like to start at the very tip where the two lines con uh, where the confluence of the two lines is. That's going to put your a stitch right at the V. That's really what you want. Just run that up. That's going to give you your spacing on your stitches. So what happens is, by starting the stitch wheel right in the tip, your stitch will go from here to the tip and then back up. Rather than having an odd one here and then one over here and then having your stitch cross over, it'll go all the way down to the tip and then back up. Ooh, look at those. Now we got them all stitched together, but they're still rough. They are still rough. I like to take the edge beveler here, one at a time, and I'm gonna bevel all of the edges. You know, clean them up, Nice, long, even pass. That gives me a uniform bevel. Cleans up the edge. Nice. I'll do that on the front and the back. Also do the top. Ooh, look at that one. This is a 332nd inch thick steel with a satin finish. You guys chose to do a satin finish on that. And then you also chose the hybrid maple handle material. It came out beautifully well. The shape, the contour, this fits in the hand really nice. It's a heavy blade with a thick handle. Really nice fit and finish. And we did make a corresponding brown leather sheath for this knife. Everything fits real nice and neat. What a great field knife. I think you guys did a great job. The choices that you made, the selection of handle material and steel and the satin finish. A plus guys. Is this my favorite? Yeah, probably not. I think that there's maybe one or two that I like better than this one. I made quite a few knives to make this series, so I definitely encourage you to go back to the beginning and choose some of the other alternate endings so that you could see all the knives that I made in the series. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching my videos, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.